This is your thought of heaven for today. I'm here in the kitchen. Yes, yes. sir. And we're going to make a cake. <laughs> we're going to talk about cake making just a little bit. Tell me a little bit about how you got into cake making because you are a cake maker. I am, absolutely. Yes. I uh, call myself a cake artist because um, uh, there's a lot to the cake making process. Um, obviously, uh, start with baking from scratch, yes. um, but then I uh, treat all my cakes like a blank canvas. Um, I love to just look at one and kind of like visualize. Sometimes a cake will kind of tell me what it's going to be. You know, um, I love when I get creative freedom on a cake. So when I'm able to design it uh, in a way that you would like paint a, yeah. a canvas, um, that's how I that's how I enjoy designing cakes. You really have the opportunity to create something yeah, yeah. out of basically nothing, right? You take the flour and the eggs and simple ingredients and then it turns into something that's really a work of art. Absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, everything is from, from scratch, from start to finish. And then when you can see that like, it's just like a mess of sticks of butter and flour and eggshells and you know, all of that from the beginning and then what it can turn into yeah. at the end is, is really cool and something to be proud of. And so I really see it as a gift that you yeah. have, uh, you know, um, and you've discovered this gift kind of through trial and tribulation though as well, right? Yeah. Going through COVID and getting laid off from a job yeah. and kind of having time to reflect. Yeah. Um, so kind of share a little bit about that, how you took this gift that you knew you had from your mother and your grandmother, how mm -hmm. they would bake with you and now got inspired to turn it into a business. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I like to um, tell people when I, when I talk about it that like sometimes when, you know, there's the things we want in life and then the things that end up happening in life can be different than mm -hmm. that sometimes. And if we end up getting the things we want, we might not end up being where we're supposed to be. Mm, yeah. uh, so in the beginning of 2020, when COVID was in full swing, I did get laid off from actually, it was a job that I had just started in January. Um, I was making the most money I had been making in my life. I enjoyed the people I worked with. The environment was great. I loved the job. Um, but I got laid off due to COVID and it was heartbreaking for a little while. Um, but over the few weeks, I kind of just realized that, you know, like there's more inside of me than, yeah. you know, what I would have been able to use sitting at a desk anyway. Um, so I did, I, I took, um, I got the idea after I did a couple of my daughter's birthday cakes and I said, maybe I can do this for a living, maybe I can do this full yeah. time. And what it does for me creatively is amazing. But then on the other hand, like the joy I'm able to share yeah. with others is one of my favorite parts about creating cakes and yeah. owning this business is being able to be a part of people's special occasions and special yeah. memories. And it's, it's a gift, absolutely. And so I think that really speaks into how we can identify the gifts mm -hmm. is that it's something that you do you get to create, but then it also brings you great joy. Yeah, you bring, absolutely. It brings you great satisfaction. Like Just like you were pointing out that you can have a career, mm -hmm. you can be in a job, you can make a lot of money, you can do well for yourself, sure. but you may not have that joy or that satisfaction. Absolutely. And so my encouragement then is for anyone who hears this is to really think about what gifts you have. Jesus gives us a parable in Matthew 25, verses 14 through 30, where it's the parable of the talents. And he's specifically referring to gifts that are given. Now, it may be monetarily, it may, it, there's a whole variety, right? Yours right. is baking. Yeah. Uh, and so the expectation then is with that gift that we do something with it. Mm -hmm. You know, praise God through Christ that we're no longer identified by sin or things that we've done negatively. But God is rather looking at what we've done with the gifts that he has given us. Absolutely. And so you're doing amazing things with the gifts that Thank you are you. given. And then Romans 12, 6 says, use the gifts, mm -hmm. right? So if you've been given the gift of baking, bake. Don't waste if it. If you've been given the gift of using a video camera, <laughs> you use a do video that. camera. Uh, and so there's just a, a, a numerous amount, infinity mm -hmm. of gifts that are given. And so my encouragement is uh, through the word of God that you go out and, and really think about what brings me joy, what brings me satisfaction, and give yourself space um, to use it yeah. and, and try it out, right? Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid of failing, but rather go forward, use the gift you've had, and watch God work through it and magnify it to His glory, and also bringing you great joy and satisfaction that you can share with others, that yeah. they too can be encouraged to try uh, to make a living, mm -hmm. maybe not necessarily make a living, but, but really be active and do something right. um, with the gift given. We could be missing out on someone else's gift. Amen. <laughs> uh, and so this is your thought of heaven for today. God bless you.